Good morning, everybody. It's just a little after sunrise here in South Florida, and I'm here to say good morning to you and let you know that I have some fun stuff coming up for us today and very helpful information. Yeah, it's actually, what, 52 degrees here, and you can see I'm all bundled up. I'm all bundled up because in South Florida, that's like, you know, it's the dead of winter, it's January. And it's like when you get used to warm temperatures, you can't take the cold, you know? So even though I'm from Pennsylvania originally, snow country, mm -mm, this is cold. But I wanted to get an early start for the day because I have some fun stuff to tell you about and a little bit of things to reveal. So let's get started. Mwah. Okay, now guess what? We're gonna do my first shout out ever. So, drum roll please. The first shout out that I have ever done, which I am going to continue to do shout outs like I promised. The first one is to Nicole Gibson. And she wrote, thank you, Mama Rhonda. I love seeing your posts on Instagram. I can't wait to see your new YouTube videos. I just, I just subscribed and I've got that notification bell. Now I'm anticipating all the enlightening content and also anything you're gonna be showing slash teaching us, juicing nature and anything else. Love you, stay blessed. Aw, oh, thank you, Nicole. I'm so glad you like the channel already and my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram, everybody. And make sure you comment on these videos because I will shout you out. You know, every week or every time I, I post, I will do a shout out at least one, maybe two. So now we're going to do a little nature segment. And I'm going to start teaching you guys some things, sharing part of my yard and part of my world with you in this way, uh, learning a little about nature. And we're going to start here with this beautiful tree that I'm underneath. And it's called, in Jamaica, it's called the Gungu tree. You see those pretty blossoms? And it produces peas. Here in America and Florida, they call it pigeon peas. But in Jamaica, it's gungu peas, and they love to cook that with rice and um, for their national dish, or one of their national dishes, uh, rice and peas. <clears throat> they use either the gungu peas or they'll use the red beans. So this is the gungu tree. This one has gotten pretty big. Usually they're a lot smaller than this. <clears throat> Here are some of the peas. They're not ready yet, but when they get nice and chubby, you can pop them open and, and either eat them green or you let them dry. And here's one. It's small, but... And you can just eat them right from here. They're nice. They taste good. So this is the gungu pea. After you, if you want to plant gungu, you wait till them, the, the seeds dry, the, the peas dry out, and you can store them a long time that way and cook them when you want to, or you can plant them. And they kind of self-pollinate. Once you have one, some you let some of them dry on the, on the tree and they'll fall and you'll have more gungu. But this is the gungu pea, pigeon pea. And I also have some moonflower growing here. The moonflower is a vine, and this one is open now. That's why I wanted to show it to you. Bees, butterflies love it, but it usually is in bloom at night and closes up during the day. But this one, I guess, wanted to stay open for us. There are seeds to this. So at nighttime, this is a great pollinator. Uh, great for the pollinators, like, you know, the beautiful moths, moths and night insects. And that's growing 
uh, in most of the climates it'll die back in the in the winter but here since we don't really get here's another one that's actually still blooming too which is funny I guess you wanted to be on video I'm gonna get a few of the seeds and if I can collect enough you know I can possibly offer some here's the, the moonflower seed right there so off camera, I'll look for some more and see how many of them I can get off of here. And if I have enough, let me know if you're interested and uh, I can offer some. This right here is another one. This is called the castor, castor bean tree. Now these ones aren't ready yet, but when they are, I'll show you what you do with these castor beans and how they make castor oil. So I saved castor beans too, but there's a little glimpse. Remember that learning curve Josh was talking about in the last video, which if you haven't seen, make sure you go watch it, which was my first video. Anyway, I've been doing all this recording for these next couple of videos or for this next video, uh, this video that you're watching now, and I'm not sure if I had the camera turned the right way because you're supposed to have it going sideways when you record. I might have it done, gone up and down. So if you see like maybe black bars on the side, you know, I just messed up again. But I'm not re-recording all that stuff. So hopefully you can just be... <laughs> hopefully you can bear with me during this learning process. <laughs> sure if you guys are aware of this but I'm a kind of person that I like to save stuff and I guess you could call me a hoarder in a way but I always find use for things like oh no don't throw that away that would be good for such 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 Zasha is the total opposite she is so uh, not stuck to things where like okay um, oh, you didn't want to eat that? All right, we'll just throw it away. Or you set something down and then you run to go to the bathroom, you come back and where'd my drink go, you know? So, and, and she's that way with, with material things too. Like she doesn't keep stuff. So how about on our group chat, she sends me, well, sends everybody on our family chat, a little video of <clears throat> Cairo in the jumper and then Harmony in the jumper. And I'm like, oh, that's so cute. But immediately I notice, hmm, I bought Harmony a jumper for when, you know, for her newborn little thing. And this jumper that Cairo's using is not the same jumper. Hmm, did I say get rid of my jumper? So I'm doing a little funny kind of thing about that. So I just wanted to give you a little update. I think we need a balance, Zosh. We're going to have to work. <laughs> We're going to have to work on it. <laughs> a little of you and a little of me. Let's mix it up together, you know? Uh, mwah. Hope you enjoy this. Guess 
what? Here I am all bundled up in my car and having some nice hot tea where I'm watching the sunset and look who I have Hi. with me. What's up? <laughs> you can actually say JB gang because I know they're in here. JB gang, pro pack, Neasy gang, what's up? What's good? How you doing? How, how you feeling? How you doing? Listen to this one. Aye. <laughs> At least I get it right, huh, honey? Guess what we're doing? I'm going to flip it around. Look, look. There's Levi and Brian. And see the chairs? Uh-huh. And then look up <laughs> close. Look up close. Yeah. We're getting ready to have a little bonfire. Who wants to come? Come join us, honey. Mm -hmm. Yep. So uh, tell them what we're doing here, Mom. Well, we're going to have a nice little bonfire, but you came in the car and was asking me a question. And then I was said, I think we should record this for my next video. Mm -hmm. So tell, tell everybody what you were saying. Well, basically I came and I asked my mama, what is she going to call you guys? Because obviously, you know, me and Brian call you guys JB Gang. You got Pro Pack. You got Neasy Gang. So now we need to Oh, know. and then Baddies. Nat has Baddies. Oh, yeah. And Nat calls you guys her Baddies. So we need to know what Mom is going to call you guys. And so, yeah, what are you? What are we thinking, Mom? Okay. Well, I actually, I actually have it written down. Do you want to get in the film? We should okay. both be in, I think. Can you see it? Can you see us? <laughs> if you can see us anyway drum roll please yeah i want to call everybody i'm a little confused still but my favorite is jam rock nation yeah i love jam rock nation because well, for one jam rock is jamaica it's known as jam rock but i'm not going to spell it r-o-c-k i'm going to put r-h-o-c-k for That's right for Rhonda, right and then um, jam is also for jammy since that's what the kids, you know, the yeah. kids are going to be calling me. Everybody's calling me. And then also rock, the rock, you know, the foundation, the, um, which I'm the matriarch of the family. So I'm the foundation of the family rock for mother earth. For nature, which that's very creative, guys. You this know, is all very creative. Yeah, if everything fits right, yeah. I'm your rock, I'm your foundation, you know, Mother Earth for the rock, all of that stuff. Rock in my world, yeah. And then the final thing is, you know, jamming like we be jamming and okay. rock, like rock and roll, rock. Okay. It all has to do with music. Mm -hmm. And I am going to do my best to promote my baby girl and my son's music on my on my channel i love this guys this is great like i think that jam rock nation like I, I think that's a really solid name choice yeah so i'll be like what's up jam rock nation or walk on jam rock nation everything chris and then you know sometime i'll be like we'll be jamming with jammy or rocking with Rhonda or whatever we'll have to figure that part out but i hope you guys like the jam rock nation part and let me know thumbs up thumbs down do uh what do you call that honey post notification oh turn on your post notification hashtag jam rock nation if you don't have the h it's not going to count so j-a-m-r-h-o-c-k nation oh also the nation is because we're all one we're all one nation mm -hmm. right this yeah. is mama Rhonda's world and i'm saying we're all one no more division so, period period with a t Period. That's right. Go ahead, do the hand thingy. Oh, so we sign it out? Well, yeah, for now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs>
Go ahead. Take a bag. Come on. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. Jimmy, we Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Jamming with Jammy! Jammy, Jammy! Yeah! <laughs> Jamming with Jammy! Jammy, Jammy! That's a good one. That's a good one. Look how, look how we're all bundled up. Look, look, I'm drinking hot tea. Cena got the big blanket on. We're watching the sunset. And uh, it says it's 70 degrees. <laughs> It feels colder than that, y'all. <laughs> it feels cold because we're so spoiled. False so news. Fake news. Fake news. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, guess what? We're going to have a fire. Is there any way to make the camera flip around or no? Um, just turn the camera. Okay, here we go. Uh -oh. Look. No, no, you're still looking at me, right or no? Wait. See, that's how I mess up every time. <laughs> There's the sunset, Levi. Look at Levi. Look at Kai Kai. Can you see? Bye for now.